The next presentation is simultaneous augmentation of textures and deformation based on dynamic projection mapping. Please welcome the University of Tokyo team. Thank you for the introduction. Uh, I'm Leo Miyasha from the University of Tokyo. In this real-time live, I'm going to show visual augmentation by dynamic projection mapping. Projection mapping is technology to augment the real world by projection. By projecting an image that perfectly fits an object, it enables visual effect as if the appearance of the object was changed. This technology has been used for motionless objects such as buildings or theatrical stages, but uh, we are now researching on projection mapping onto a moving object, like this. I'd like to explain uh, the dynamic projection mapping by dynamic projection mapping itself. To realize projection uh, mapping onto a moving object, uh, these three steps are needed. First, measuring a pose and position of a target. Second, rendering an image according to the target. Third, projecting the image onto the target. But when these three steps are performed at 60 frames per second, the projected image cannot keep up with the moving object, and we, humans, will notice the delay. So we developed our projector camera system works at 1,000 frames per second. With the 1,000 frames per second, the projection will be indistinguishable from the original appearance. The appearance of an object is uh, composed of these three components, lighting, material, and shape of the object. And the human cannot accurately recognize which factor contributes to the appearance. So we can augment the material and shape by lighting. Then, uh, let's take a look at uh, material augmentation first. Uh, this is a 3D printed model of a human head. Originally, a white material, no texture. Uh, but we can change the texture by the dynamic projection mapping technique. Even when I'm moving the object quickly, the projection keeps up with the motion, and you cannot notice the delay. Bitta bitta, desho? Of course, it's computer graphics, uh, so the texture uh, is easily controlled. Okay, I should be kind to her. Moreover, the appearance is composed of not only textures. The shape of a target also constitutes the appearance. Of course, you know, the projection cannot change the shape itself. This solid model is still solid. But by exploiting perceptual characteristics of human vision, a projection enables an optical illusion as if the shape of a target was changed. Like this. In this demonstration, a deformation according to the motion is computed based on virtual elasticity and by projecting the image of slightly deformed target, flabby object is realized. This effect is based on an optical illusion, so it's impossible to deform the shape largely. However, this is also computer graphics, so the softness, deformation area, and even physical law itself are freedom. 
Finally, let's take a look at the difference of dynamic projection mapping at 1,000 FPS and the ordinary 60 FPS. When the system, uh, when the system frame rate is 1,000 FPS, uh, as you see now, it's smooth and immersive thanks to low latency. On the other hand, when the system frame rate is 60 FPS, the quality of the projection mapping is easily deteriorated by the motion, and the, the magic spell will be broken. Let's go back to the 1,000 FPS. The effect of high-speed dynamic projection mapping is obvious, right? We believe our, this 1,000 FPS ProCam system and the simultaneous augmentation of textures and deformation will open the way to seamless fusion of real and virtual. Thank you. <laughs>